Yo guys, what's up? It's time to have a look at graphic card prices, in my opinion. I obviously bought graphic cards in my life, and the thing is that this was in way better times back in the day. So, right now, if you want to buy a graphic card, it's pretty, pretty tough. They say that it became better, but I don't think so, to be honest with you. It didn't normalize at all. So, let me explain first of all. If you would have bought a graphics card in 2014 for the 70 model, because NVIDIA has a certain model number system that's like 50, 60, 70, 80. Those are like the main line commercial graphics cards. Of course, there are 30s, 40s and other things like the Titan. But... Mostly those are the cards that you're looking at. So when I bought my Gigabyte G1 Gaming, uh, the highest rated 970 in 2014, I paid around 300, 350 euros, something like that. And you can see this graphic card as the equivalent to this. So the MSI GeForce RTX 3070 should be in the range of maybe 500 euro max. Actually 400 euro. So... Let's see, release price, 3070, release price. Um, original, I guess. Exactly, 499 euros. It was meant to cost that. But the market makes it, quite frankly, impossible. Because now they are starting at about 900 euro. You can be lucky and find a shitty one for 850. Actually, it's a gigabyte, so it's not the worst, I reckon. Gigabyte is a good company, in my opinion. Decent company. So, but you're going to pay 8 to 900 euro. You can easily see that here. You can also easily spend more than that. And that's almost double the price of what it should be. And... That's very disappointing, and for me as a consumer, I just don't want to buy it. I really just don't want to buy it. I'm lucky enough to have access to a high-powered 3060 laptop GPU that absolutely bursts out insane levels of frame rates since, since this laptop has insane cooling. I'm using the Zephyrus Duo GX551 um, 15SE, so like the 2021 model of the flagship Asus laptop for gaming. And I easily get my 9200 frames on, for example, Metro Exodus, um, how is it called, Enhanced Edition, the, the, the new updated RTX version of that game, uh, all maxed out. So ultra ray tracing, ultra graphic setting, ultra texture, everything maxed out to the max with VRS enabled because VR, VRS is really, really good. It doesn't degrade the image quality like resolution scaling, you don't have this swapping thing that is like swapping from 1080p to 1440p to 900p. It's more stable. VRS, in my opinion, is much better than, let's say, for example, uh, this how was called cast fidelity from AMD. It looks like poo, in my opinion. Fact is that those are the prices right now. You could easily spend a hundred percent extra so instead of 499 you're gonna for the founders edition you're gonna pay thousand for non-founders edition so basically the same chip but with a different chassis and with a different cooling system and a different mm, customized clock so that's the situation right now and it's, it's still the situation this day in uh, july of 2021 pretty disappointing that they just don't seem to get it right. So, for example, if you're clicking here, they're saying 31% off. 31% off of what? This graphic card is supposed to cost a maximum 550 euros as a custom edition, and it costs 850 euros, and that is 30% off. Some of you, I think your math is way off, dude. Seriously. So, those are the actual deals here. Let's see what is the cheapest. Let's quickly sort that uh, to cheapest first. So 824 for Zotac. And Zotac is not the best manufacturer in the world. I can tell you that. And also you can see it's a dual fan design probably. 
Da, 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 da. And probably it's lower clocked than some of its competitors. That's why it's a, maybe a little bit cheaper. I don't know, but that's my hunch here. Let's have a look at the 3060. So the 3060 also doesn't make any sense. I think that the 3060 was supposed to be released for about 399 exactly. So it's a bit less markup in this case. You you have a third markup instead of 100% markup, but it's still way too expensive. I mean, those are good cards, but they are way too expensive nevertheless. I'm still, I would be super frustrated to buy a graphic card right now. Fortunately, I don't need one because in my kind of network PC, there is an SLI system with a 970 and for graphic work or even for most of even AAA games, you can play on there if they are not the newest and if you can live without ray tracing effects and maybe a little bit of resolution scaling in the most hardcore demanding games. But you can pretty mon much run everything and stuff like Battlefront 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, for example, that runs at a smooth 85 to 100 frames per second, which is decent. So I'm not terribly in need to buy a graphic card, which is my luck in this case. And I'm sorry for the people that have to buy one now. An option is, in my case, I had to buy a new laptop. I didn't just buy a new laptop because I, I thought it's a cool thing to do. No, I am um, for my job. I need a high powered laptop. So when I'm traveling, I still can work on everything on all kind of content music or video or images, doesn't matter. Uh, for all of those, those things, I need a quite beefy machine. And my GE series MSI laptop just fell out of the bike, out of, out of my motorbike in 2020. So I had no chance to buy a new one. And then obviously, if you're buying a new laptop in 2021, you're going to go for at least a first gen RTX, but really it would be recommended to get at least a 3060 or any of the 30 series cards, to be honest, because they are quite brutal, especially if they're cooled well and can have a higher TGP. So in 2021, just as a side note, what you really need to look at is actually not only the number in laptops, if it's a 3060, 3050 or 3070, what you really need to have a look at is the TGP. So how, how many watts the GPU is running at. If you have a 95 watts, GPU, let's say a 3070, it will probably get beaten by a 130 watts 3060 GPU in most instances. Depends on what you throw at it, but that would be my guess in this case. So if you are looking for a new laptop, then maybe that's the way to go because you can find quite decently priced 3060 laptops that will, you know, carry you through the next five years, probably just fine if they're not like on running on 60 watts or something ridiculous like that. I think that doesn't even exist, but just as a kind of extreme example here. And then that's a good alternative. Obviously, the 3060 mobile is not the same as the 3060 desktop version. I mean, we all know that. But nevertheless, if you are if you're able to run the newest games at around 100 frames per second and something like esports titles at easily above 200 frames per second or more even you can hit the 300 hertz to be honest in a lot of titles with my 3060 that is in my laptop then i'm fine with that like doesn't matter if the des desktop counterpart is like 25 or 50 percent more powerful because it's it's doing what it's supposed to do and it's doing it quite well it's doing it very stable if it's cooled correctly which is not always the case so that's that way too expensive but you can find for example here the aces for only a hundred euros more but look at that i mean you would definitely want to get this one if it fits in, inside your rig or this one and not this tiny form factor. Let's see how much watts. Yeah, they all, I think, have the same wattage on the bigger desktop, desktop cards. So 524, that's the first one that makes somewhat sense, in my opinion, actually. That, that can definitely make sense. 
because it's just a hundred euro more and then that's not so painful as spending you know thousand euros for a 500 euro graphic card it's way less painful to spend 520 euros for a 400 euro graphic card in my opinion so that's the first kind of decent offer that is still a hundred euro too expensive but it's at least a decent offer and you can see also from the popularity at least here in germany you can see that the 3060 is on top, on place one. Let's also have a look here. Internationally, we're always quite lucky in Germany. In most cases, if you're in Europe, you're going to get the best price in Germany. Uh, as you can see here, so we have, you know, like Germany, Austria, Italy, France, Spain, and the UK, which is not Europe anymore, unfortunately, or fortunately, who knows. But um, in the UK, for example, you would pay 900 British pounds, also known as more than 1,000 euros, for, in this case, a 3060, the 012G from Asus. So that's like a tiny card. But yeah, it will not perform as good as the best cards, that's for sure. But if you're on a pinch, maybe you, you are happy with that. You could get it for 500 euro in Germany, you're going to pay more than the double in the UK. So much about Brexit and the benefits for the British people. I leave that up to you to decide if that was a good idea or not. Okay, let's see. So the, we also have the 3070 Ti. That goes for, to be honest with you, like... That's probably a graphic card that makes a lot of sense right now if you're having a look at the 3070s, which cost easily a thousand euros, and then you have the TI, which totally beats the normal 70. And you pretty much have the same prices, so like you must be a total knob jockey to, to still get a 3070 or just not know about it. So 3070 TI, original release price. Five hundred ninety nine US dollars is the is the release price. So like that translates to I guess five ninety nine euros as well, and then that's not too painful again. So I'm starting to see light in the end of the tunnel here. So there are actually some options out there which kind of make sense, and those options, in my opinion, are if you find a good price for a thirty sixty desktop then that's a good option. And also the 3070 Ti seems to be really, really, really well priced regarding all the shit that is going on at this moment. Yeah, you can get, for example, the MSI uh, for 800. It's still t way too expensive, obviously, but you can also see that they dropped, look at that, 1,999 euros for a 3070 Ti. That should be criminal. It really should be criminal to do something like that. But you can see that the price is indeed normalized a bit. Still way too expensive, but normalized. Okay, guys, that's not too bad. Let's have a look here again at cheapest price. You're going to get it for 850. That's not too bad. That's like 250 Mark up, not too bad actually. And not the worst cards, like those are decent cards. Yeah, that's it, guys. If for the people that you know, maybe it helps you. I just wanted to talk a bit about it because I am interested in that, not only because I love video games, I do, I'm not playing ultra much video games, but I know about video games and respect it as a medium and I love it since I'm a small child and I pretty much have almost any system that came out in the last 10 years. Not really, but I have a lot of gaming systems at home, just purely out of fascination and also a lot of old gaming systems, but I'm also working in video editing and other things that actually can benefit from a decent GPU. So it's something that I 
have to buy in some cases. And I am going to buy a GPU at some point in my life again. I actually have to say, seeing a 3060 desktop variant for 529, even though it's really not one that I would like, it's kind of refreshing. And 850 for a 3070 Ti is also not that horrible. It's way less horrible than a 3070 for more than a thousand euros, for example, which you could see plenty. So I see you guys hopefully soon. Have a blast. Have a nice summer and peace out.